Welcome to ZDNet's DIY IT Project Lab, where I'm stress testing RAID devices for your entertainment and edification. Today we'll be looking at the third of seven NAS products to see how it performs. Let's put this project into context. The whole purpose of a RAID is that if a drive fails, you can recover with no data loss. In this series, I'm pounding on each NAS to see how or if it recovers. Almost all NAS reviews out there just talk about adding storage and the various apps that come with the devices. I haven't seen any that stress test the machines to the point of failure and back to restoration, which is the whole point of these devices. I've subjected each candidate machine to a series of torture tests. Beyond that, I look at performance, apps, user interface, and so much more. Today, we're testing the QNAP TVS473. My name is David Gewertz, and you're watching ZDNet's DIY Data Center series, which is part of my DIY IT column. In addition to punishing servers, we also explore 3D printers, fly drones, and regularly dive deep into advanced geekery for fun and profit. Before we get started on the QNAP, I'd like to remind you that I'm reviewing seven of these NAS boxes. If you'd like to know when the next review is up, feel free to click the subscribe button and the little notify bell in the corner over there. Let's talk QNAP. This is an impressive machine. The one caveat, and I'll get this over with up front, is that if you're a Mac user, you might want to give this machine a pass. The QNAP TVS473 failed my Mac file system test, dying on copying over a representative directory of media and work files. Other than that one failure, the QNAP is solid. It's unique compared to all the other NAS devices because it can also function as a standalone home media server. It's got an HDMI output and can directly drive a TV. You can even run a browser from the TV interface, giving you both huge storage and a media center PC all in one box. In terms of RAID performance, there's not much to say about it. It worked. It just worked. It flew through all of my torture tests. The QNAP device itself did not display any visible notification of failure, which was unfortunate, but it did send an email notification through a Gmail interface. Drives slide into trays and don't require any tools to install. The trays have little plastic strips that hold the drives in. They're easy if a bit fiddly to use, but they're also a good place to expect things to break because if they're not placed just so, the little plastic pins that go into the screw holes on the drives could easily snap off. On the other hand, they're a lot more convenient to use than managing the teeny screws normally used to attach drives inside a PC case. The management console worked fine. It quickly indicated a drive was out of service. Upon inserting a replacement drive, the QNAP automatically began a drive rebuild. It also resized capacity when the larger drive was added, which means it will grow with you over time. The QNAP confidently rolls a RAID performance rating of 4 out of 5. It would have gotten one additional star if it had a more visible physical failure indicator, like on the Drobo. But where it beats the Drobo and all the other devices is an app selection. This bad boy has 108 add-on apps, beating even the Synology's quite extensive collection. Read-write performance was among the best in show, and it sports a network recycle bin. The management interface is sophisticated. If you're a storage wonk, you'll love all the options this device provides. The UI was a bit more cluttered and condensed than I would have liked, but that's a very minor complaint. Pricing on this box is high, though. Using Amazon as a source for pricing, this thing costs $302 per bay. The only NAS in our series that's more expensive on a price per bay basis is the IOSafe, and that's built to withstand the White Walker invasion. The lack of robust file compatibility and the relatively high price cost it a few points, but its solid performance and app selection earned it quite a few points as well. In total, the QNAP earned four out of five usability and performance stars. That's where the QNAP TVS473 lands overall as well. Even though its silver and black look make it seem like part of the set from a 1980s stereo commercial, it's a solid machine, well worth considering. A few minor complaints keep it out of the 5 out of 5 club, but it wins a very respectable 4 out of 5. It's an impressive machine. As long as you're not a Mac user, you won't regret buying it. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video or the idea of stacks of storage makes you feel all squishy inside, go ahead and mash the like button. I'm David Gewertz for ZDNet's DIY IT. Go out there and hoard some bits.